Hello everyone, in this video we're gonna cover all the minion changes that are gonna happen in the next patch which is gonna bring us to the Battlegrounds Season 3 so in this video we're not gonna talk about Undead that's been covered in another video here we just talk about all the minions that are gonna change within the Neutrals and other tribes starting off with Cindere Straight Shot it's a new 4-drop, 3-4, Wind Fury, Divine Shield. Whenever this attacks, remove Reborn and Taunt from the target. So this may look like a really weird card, right? But it's a neutral, so you can't really scale it that well. And uh, it has Wind Fury, Divine Shield. And it just removes stuff from the opponent minions. But basically... The devs gave some insight about this card and it's supposed to be a counter to Undead. Because Undead are all about Reborn. So with this you can take away the Reborn. Is it gonna be good enough? We'll see. Honestly this card doesn't seem that good to me. So I guess I'll give it a 3 out of 5. We'll have to see if it's good enough. Now, a new dragon, Cronormo, 4 drop, 4-4, four, four. while this is in Bob's Tavern, gain the stats of any minion sold. So, rather confusing text, right? But basically, the way this card works is that once you roll into it, so once it appears in your shop, if you want, you can sell as many minions as you want and this card is gonna get all the stats kinda like a dancing dancing daryl effect or anima bribe if you play the quest meta some interesting card honestly you could also read this as give a minion dragon tag and plus four plus four if you only sell one minion and i don't really know why you want to do that other than nadina so i think this card might be good in some niche situations where you just level to tier four and you actually just want to sell all your one drops and two drops to buy better cards then you kind of get to save those stats but it seemed like such a situational effect i i don't know i don't really feel like this is gonna be that impactful but it's a cool effect to have in the game nonetheless and who knows there might be some hidden synergies that we are not seeing right now obviously this has synergy with ball of minion if you make a big ball of minions you can sell it buff your board and discard in the shop you get to keep the stats like kind of duplicate them but then again like you're selling a ball to then buy a dragon the ball might have been better depending on the synergies that are currently on your board so we'll see it's a cool effect we'll have to see how it's gonna play out but as if right now the main synergy that i see it's with ball which is very strong but it's also just a late game synergies and there are plenty of strong stuff that you can do in the late game. And I don't think this is going to be way better than other stuff that you can already do. So once again, I'll give this a 3 out of 5. Now, General Drakisath. It's a new 4-drop for dragons. Battlecry add a 2-1 Smolder Wing to your hand that gives another dragon plus 5 attack. So, first of all, this card is a token. It's an economy generator. Because you buy it for 3 gold and it gives you 2 cards. So, you kind of bought it for just 1 gold. And also, it provides really strong tempo. Because, first of all, you can buff anything you want with your 2-1, like any other dragon. But... Even if you don't have any dragon, you can just buy this and then buff it up. And you got yourself a 7-8. Like 7-8, it's a pretty damn big 4-drop. And then you can just sell the 2-1 and get one gold back immediately. 
So yeah, this card is amazing. Not to mention that if you're playing Caligos, this is two battle cries in one because it is a battle cry itself and then it gives you another battle cry in your hand. So this is also a pretty good buff to Kali. Um, I think I'm gonna give this card a 4 out of 5. Might even be a 5 out of 5. It's obviously... Yeah, it's this is actually a 5 out of 5. It's an amazing card. Or is it? It kinda is. Mm. Nah, you know what? I'm giving this a 4 out of 5. It's a really good card, but it's not as good as Primal Fiend and Tavern Tempest and Morazon and all those cards. It's a bit weaker than those. But still, really good card and... Uh, is it gonna be enough? To make dragons competitive, we'll have to see. Because there are some more changes coming to dragons. But uh, on its own, really solid card. And here is the token, the smolder wing. This is what you're gonna get out of it. And now Tidus Riven there. 5 drop 1 7. Your death rattle trigger an extra time. So you may be thinking, well, this looks very similar to Baron Riven there. And the reason being is that Baron is being removed. And this one is going to take place instead of it. Also, the effect is slightly different. Because this one says, your death rattle trigger an extra time. When Baron used to read your death rattle trigger twice. So there is a small caveat here that basically with this new version of Baron, which is called Titus, but I will call it Baron for at least a few more months <laughs> till I get used to it. You can have two copies of this minion on your board, and then your death struggle your and then your death rattles will trigger three times, kind of like having a golden Baron. So it's more flexible than the old Baron, pretty much. So yeah, really good card. I like the addition. I'm not gonna rate this one because it's basically just a Baron, but slightly better. You can guess it by yourself. Now, dual type minions being added. Here we have Thorn Captain. It's a new one drop. It's a pirate quid board. After a card is added to your hand, gain plus one health until your next turn. The golden version gets plus 2 health. So I don't think we need to talk much about this card. This is a 1 out of 5. I hate this card. I don't know why it's in the game. And it's a nerf to Quillbors and Pirates. And those are some of the weakest tribe out there. So that's why I hate this. And I hope it gets deleted. I don't want to see this ever in the game again. Moving on. Blazing Skyfin, 2 drop 1 3, Murloc Dragon, after you play a Battlecry minion, gain plus 1 plus 1. So we have had this effect in the game in the past, but it's used to be attached to a neutral minion and it was a 3 drop. And that minion saw play, although it was way back in the days in season 1 when the power level was way lower. That one minion that I'm talking about was called Crowd Favorite and it's so play mainly in Caligos. Like most of the time you will end up selling the minion, but the few times you kept it, it was actually because of Caligos. And this is a dragon already itself, so you can even give it Divine Shield with Nadina. Plus, it's also a Murloc, which is gonna work wonderfully with a Murloc tribe since you can spam so many battle cries all the time. So yeah, I love this card, this card is amazing, and uh, I'll give it a 5 out of 5. Now, Corpse Refiner, hmm, this is a weird one, 2 drop, 2-3, two, Undead Pirate, Avenge 4, this minion sells for one more gold. I mean, I get it, this card kinda makes sense, since there's more Death Radley and Avenge synergies coming in, especially with Undead, not so much with Pirate though. But at the same time, it's just a 2-3 with a conditional effect. Like why 
is this card in the same game as the gambler pirate there's just a 3-3 and you can always sell it for 3 gold I don't know this card confused me and I'll give it a 2 out of 5 now elemental 3-1 elemental and demon minions in Bob tavern have plus 1 plus 1 for the rest of the game so this effect obviously makes sense with both elementals and demons because if you're playing something like a Nomi strategy, you want to buff your shop. Now, that being said, this is just a generic buff. It doesn't only buff elementals and demons. It buffs everything. Which means that, in theory, you could pick this up at any moment if you're on tier 3. And get a bonus for the rest of the game. In practice, though, I feel like this unit just doesn't do enough. Like, most of the times, I'll simply rather buy the um, Overseer, which is like the 4-4 four four that gives you a shop plus 2, plus 1 temporarily. Like, sure, that's a temporary effect, but you gotta keep in mind that most of the time, what happens in this game is that you just assemble your board early on, and then you keep buffing it up and adding some tech cards. It's not like buffing the shop forever is that big of a deal it mainly doesn't matter honestly unless if you're exactly playing felbat so yeah i feel like um people are overestimating this card uh, a bit too much i'll give it a three out of five it's a uh, it's an okay card but nothing crazy and puffer quill the first four drop it's a quillbor and naga since both of these tribes have spell synergies what it reads is after a spell is played on this gain poisonous until your next turn and the golden version gets against poison forever so this is a new poison in the game i feel like this is a very good addition to the game especially in those naga and quillbor tribes because usually what happens in lobbies where Billboards and Naga are available, or either one or the other, or both, but, po but Murlocs are not available, is that whoever gets the biggest dynamic duo or the biggest uh, Myrmidon is gonna win. So adding an extra poison into those lobbies is gonna be a welcome addition. Not to mention that this card also is a buff to the Quillbor and Naga tribes since um, those are going to be the ones that will have the easier time getting the effect of. I'll give this one a... Um, I'm not sure if it's a 4 or a 5 out of 5. I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5. It's a solid card. 4 out of 5. Seems okay to me. Magma Lock. It's a new 1-1. One, one. At the end of your turn, gain plus 1, plus 1. Repeat for each minion you play this turn. So, if you read this, it's a really similar effect to the Majordomo, which, by the way, is getting removed. We'll talk about the removed minion soon. But this doesn't only proc for, um, for elementals. It procs for every single minion. This card might actually be a Peggy on crack. Obviously, Peggy gets a bonus for spellcrafts and coins and gems as well. Peggy is a 6-5 but the thing is that with Peggy like you have this condition that you need to have her plus another pirate with this one instead you just have to have it on the board you don't need any other condition and it's just gonna get bigger and bigger all the time so yeah I feel like this is gonna be a really solid scaling option on tier 4 it's gonna help cycling based heroes a lot like Gallywix and milaus and such even edwin to an extent and yeah i love this card i think uh, it's gonna be really good and i like it and it's a nice buff to mainly murlocs i guess this is also gonna be okay in elementals but i see it being better either in random menagerie build or in pure murloc builds with bran because you can cycle a lot of minions i'm gonna give this one a four out of five I believe in this card. I think it's good enough. Now on to the 5 drop. Cyborg Drake, which is a 2-8 Divine Shield. Your Divine Shield minions have plus 10 attack. 
obviously this effect seems crazy and it it is kind of crazy although there is a small catch that you gotta know which is that once the minions lose the divine shield they also lose the plus 10 attack so which is kind of what's gonna balance out this effect either way the effect is really solid it's gonna push divine shield archetype a lot and i feel like they kind of needed it a little bit now that uh, gem splitter has been removed so yeah i'll give this uh five out of five actually i think this card is gonna be really good i like it and here we have it the horse himself scene runner blanky or blanchy i don't know how you pronounce this reborn 4-4 four, four. this is reborn with full health and enchantments now you might be wondering what does enchantments mean well basically all the buffs every single buff that you put on this whether it being in the shop or during the combat it's gonna stay so yeah this card is basically two minions in one which is something we have never seen before and it's honestly incredible and now how easy is it to scale this card obviously it's not very easy to scale it with beast itself but it's also an undead so maybe we will be able to scale it up nicely with undead either way if you can make this big it's gonna be insane keep in mind that if you can give this divine shield whether with selfless hero or with glow scale it's gonna reborn also with divine shield which is super crazy so the potential with this card is absurd but we'll have to see how easy it is to scale it up you can obviously also scale it up with uh, menagerie synergies like theodar and bran so i think i'll give this a uh, four out of five the card itself is crazy but i don't know if we have enough synergies to scale it up but i could see this being a five out of five it's just that we don't know how undead are gonna function yet and now as a six drop we have the fell stomper a new beast and demon after you summon a minion in combat give your minions plus three attack this in combat it's obviously relevant because it means that unlike mama bear this only works during the combat phase if you buy and play some cards during your shopping phase you are not gonna buff your your board but this is a pretty powerful effect obviously once it's golden it's plus six attack which is twice as much we're left to see what's gonna happen with this card because even though it is a beast and a demon which means that it's only gonna appear in beast and demon lobbies the effect itself can buff anything like you're not restricted to those tribes you can just play max play neutral minions play undead you can literally play whatever you want so we'll have to see how the synergies will shape up with this one it seems like an interesting effect not so sure how competitive it's gonna be but if this is strong like if this is too strong it's could end up being the only and best strategy in the game but undead seem also really strong so we'll have to see uh what do i give this i guess i'm gonna give it a four out of five but then again since this is just a tempo effect, if it ends up being too strong, it's gonna warp the meta. Kinda like when uh, Greasebot was too strong. So uh, we'll have to wait and see. And lastly, we have Greta Goldgun, new Naga Pirate. Spellcraft, make a different friendly pirate or Naga golden until next turn. As you can see here, except Greta, so you can't just use it on herself and then get a new gun. Something to know about this one is that Tony is getting removed, so this is the replacement for Tony, but it's a 6-drop. 
It's also it also works on Naga. So you can use this on Atisha, you can use it on your Glow Scales, you can use it on your Mimidon, your Pashmark. It's a really strong effect. We'll have to see if this is gonna enable Naga and Pirates to compete with Undead. But once Undead get nerfed, this card is definitely gonna be very very strong. I'll give it a 5 out of 5. Oh wait, there is another one. Forgot about this one. Mecha Jaraxxus, a Mech Demon. It's a 315, pretty bulky stat line. Battle Cry, add a random Mecha Demon to your hand. Well, what are those Mecha Demons? Here they are. They are Magnetic Minions. So, something to know about this is that they can all magnetize to Mechs and also Demons. So we are getting some overlap synergies also in the magnetic department. And we have a plus 10 plus 1 reborn, plus 1 plus 10 taunt, and plus 5 plus 5 wind fury. Now, how are you actually going to use this? Well, you will mainly use the reborn on max. It will be kind of like an extra menace pretty much. Because Reborn doesn't really have a lot of synergy with the current demons that are in the pool. So you will just use this on the max. And that's it. Or you will use it as plus 10 plus 1. For uh, the taunt one, instead, you will mainly use it on Trickster. Give your Trickster plus 10 health and taunt. Very, very strong. And when it comes to the Wind Fury one, I guess the main ideal target is gonna be for reaper or else you can just use it on your mech resets that you want to die so since it has wind fury it's gonna be more likely to die and lastly you can just put it on any demon to kind of use it as a tech card against beast comp or like death rattle comp that wants their stuff to die in order having wind fury against those comp can mess them up if you snipe the right minion other than that, like you don't really want to give Wind Fury to your Divine Shield Max, because then your Deflector is just going to attack twice, it's going to die, and it will never reset ever again. At the, on the same boat, you can use Reborn on any random demon to kind of try and play around uh, some small poison on the opponent's side, but that's about it. All in all, this Mecha Jaraxxus card is pretty cool. You get two of these if you're playing Bran, so that's an extra synergy. They also have synergy with Urzul and uh, a little bit of synergy with uh, Big Fernal. Although it's just like plus two, plus two, it's not that big of a deal. But with Urzul, you will eat a minion when you play the Jaraxxus and then you will eat another minion when you play the Magnetic, which is very nice. Other than that, I feel like this card is okay, but it's not game-breaking. And I'll give it a 4 out of 5. Pretty solid card, like it's still a good 6-drop, but if you triple and you get this, like you're not gonna be very happy, it's just gonna be whatever. Kinda like when you triple into Uther, just some tempo, nothing more than that. And these are the golden version. So with this one you get Mega Wind Fury. And with the other ones, you just get double the stats. Mega Wind Fury, it's honestly kind of cool. Imagine having a 4 Reaper with Mega Wind Fury and module on it. That could be crazy. Also, a couple of returning minions. Iki Imp is going to be back on... Uh... Wait, what? what is this? Why does he have the mana symbol? Is this a constructed card? Oh yeah, this should be the tier. This is going to be a tier 1. And uh, Green Thumb is also back. Which used to be one of the best cards during the Avenge meta. And now with even more synergies with Undead, I feel like this is going to be maybe even the best 3-drop in the game. It's Avenge 3, give adjacent minions plus 2 plus 1 permanently. So, it's really good scaling early on. And here instead we see some Avenge minions getting removed. Witchwing Nestmatron getting removed because 
There are too many synergies with Undead, and this will be too strong. Same thing for Tank. Same thing for Croc, although Croc is getting replaced with the new Dinosaur on Tier 6. And Tony is also getting replaced with the new 6 drop. Now here is a full picture of the removed minions. So no more Imprisoner, but we have Ikim. Personally, I like Imprisoner better. So I'm not so sure why they changed them. Maybe because they are adding a new taunt with the new Undead with Reborn. Maybe that's why they don't want too many taunts on tier 1. I don't know. But anyway, I'm gonna miss this. I... I was, uh, I've always liked him, Prisoner. Honcho is also gone, but in exchange, we get the new tier 2 dragon that gets plus 1 plus 1 for each battle cry, and in my opinion, that card is better and healthier card than Honcho, so I totally love this change. For the same reason, Glyph Guardian is gone, but once again, we have the new dragon. Yoho is gone, and instead we have the new pirate slash undead that gets avenge for yourself for one extra gold. Honestly, Yoho was kind of a terrible card. The new one is also a terrible card, so whatever. Witch is gone. Stasis is gone. Instead of Stasis, we have the new demon slash elemental that buffs the shop plus one plus one. Sure, it's a fine, fine change. Stasis was never, never a good card, honestly. Khadgar is also gone. The reason why this is gone is because it would have too many synergies with Reborn and it will just be too strong. Although now the Eliza Scalibug uh, combo pirate is no longer playable because without Khadgar the comp is too weak. It doesn't really work. Bonker gone as well, and instead of Bonker, we have the new Puffer Fist, the Poison Quilbor slash Naga. Majordomo it's gone, instead of Majordomo, we have the new Murloc slash Elemental, I guess plus one plus one. Mechano Egg gone as well. I don't understand what's the mech replacement though for Mechano Egg and Mechano Tank. I feel like... Uh, we just have less 4-drop for max, and I suppose in exchange we get Mecha Jaraxxus on tier 6, so max will just have more magnetic stuff to do? Question mark? And I guess the Dinosaur might work with them as well, but sometimes the Dinosaur is not gonna be available if Demons and Beasts are out, so but I don't know. Now, Enforcer is also gone. Instead of Enforcer, we have the new Battlecry Dragon. So yeah, this card was awful. The new card is amazing. So huge buff for dragons. Baby Crash and Croc gone. Instead, we have the new Dino on 6. Uh, this card was gone a while ago. Mitrax is also getting removed. Razor God is also getting removed. Which... I don't know about this. It was a... One of the strongest dragons, to be honest. So, on one hand, they're buffing dragons, but on the other hand, they're weakening them a little bit. Just a little bit, though, so I guess it's fine. And then Imp Mama is gone, and instead we have Mega Jaraxxus. So, overall, I will say that basically they added a better replacement for anything that they removed. The only... Your loss is on the Khadgar, but that makes sense because Khadgar will just be too strong in combination with Undead. Peggy is also getting changed, but this is not a functional change. Basically, they are changing the artwork and the name, bringing Peggy back to life just so she can stay as a pirate and not a pirate Undead. Because if Peggy were to stay how she is right now, she would have to be an undead, but the effect itself wouldn't have any undead synergy. So it will just be a dead card for the undead pool. So 
that's why they ended up reworking her. And our last, the final change, Micro Mummy, it's also going to become an undead slash mech. So, and this is also tier 1. So it's a good tier 1 minion for undead. There are also some changes that are not covered here. Uh, actually, it's one change, which is that there is a Amber Guardian, I think it's called. It's a 3-2 dragon on tier 3 that gives Divine Shield to another dragon. Basically, the golden version of that minion is getting buffed. Right now, the golden version has the same effect as the normal version. But in the next update, once you make Amber Guardian golden, it's going to give Divine Shield to two different dragons. So, another buff for dragons. And that's it. These are all the changes. Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, patch review. And don't forget to leave a comment, a like, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.